Welcome to BNB RV. Today we'll be walking you through our all-wheel drive 2022 Thor Compass 23TW, our 24-foot Class B Plus with one slide. First, we're going to walk you through the outside of the unit, and then we'll go on in and look at the features inside. So we're going to start up here by the front driver door. This is actually where the gas fill is. So the fill is here, unleaded fuel. Next, we have the propane compartment. To make sure the propane tank is on, this knob needs to be turned all the way counterclockwise or to the left. It should be open when you come to pick up the vehicle. If and when you do need to fill up the propane, you can go to a designated propane fill and they'll come out and fill it for you. Next compartment here is a storage. There's the free chairs that are included in the hospitality package in there. And right here is a lot of the functionality of the vehicle. So this first one is your power. This is where you're gonna hook into shore power. Your cord is gonna be in this large compartment. So when you get to the campsite, you can take out the cord and the yellow end plugs in here and the other end is going to hook into the 30 amp campsite power. There is an adapter included if you do need to knock that down to a regular 10 and be able to plug into a house. This guy here is the cable. If your campsite offers cable TV, we do include the cable connection for you. So you plug in one side there, other side goes into the uh, campsite cable and you'll be hooked up there. You do have an outdoor shower. The key for that's on the key ring. It's just a spray shower if you're needing to rinse off shoes or anything like that on the outside of the vehicle. And then these two are your water connections. So you have a fresh water tank on board. So to fill that, Take the cap off, hose goes in, and it's a gravity fill. So when that's full, water will trickle out. Sometimes it trickles out underneath and you'll know that your tank is full. And then the other one is the city water connection. This one is used when you're hooking up to water at the campsite. So your hose goes in here and it goes into the campsite water source. And then you're pulling directly from their water and that'll bypass pulling the water out of your fresh water tank. Now we're gonna look at the dumping. The key is on the key ring. It's the white storage compartment key to open the dump compartment. The hose is in. Gloves are included in your hospitality package, so those should be in there for you. So the hose comes out first. There is a port right here that you have to unscrew, and that comes out to create the hole where the hose is gonna come through. The cap here is just threaded on. You bring that off, same threads here on the hose. You're gonna latch that on nice and tight. Other end of the hose is down in the dump. And then your gray and black are up top. The gray is on the right, which is sink and shower water. Black is on the left, which is the toilet water. Pull the black all the way out first. Get all that waste out. Push that back in. Gray comes out next. That'll rinse through that sink and shower soapy water to rinse out your hose. When you're finished, take the hose off, put your cap back on, port goes back on so that you don't lose your hose. Hose goes back in. And we can lock that back tight. This vehicle does come equipped with a backup camera. That'll come on when you pop it into reverse. You can view that on the rear view mirror in the corner and it'll show you what's behind you. The ladder is just used for maintenance and things that we do on the roof. So no need to go on that during your trip. Right here we have a propane quick connect. If you have a propane grill or something that you wanna wire straight into the vehicle's propane supply, you can do that there. This compartment has your generator. It's a gas powered generator, runs off the same tank as the engine. It will shut down if you're at a quarter tank or less. 
The generator is used to power any 110 items on board. That's going to be the air conditioner, microwave, TVs, and anything else that you're plugging into an actual outlet. If you're plugged into shore power, then you don't need the generator. It's one or the other. Okay, and this way you have the refrigerator vent. These are two outlets on the outside where you can plug things in. And then this final one is just another storage compartment. Now we're gonna go take a look at the inside. Directly inside your entry door, you have your main battery disconnect. We'll just leave that guy on the entire trip. Uh, no real reason to turn that one off. And then above that, we have your solar controller. Not really anything to do with that, um, but that does help monitor your house battery voltage there. Uh, you wanna make sure that it stays uh, in the 12s or higher um, for everything to function properly there. Um, that's a good way to monitor that. Uh, if you need to recharge those, they do charge while you're driving. They charge with the generator running as well as when you're plugged into shore power. Uh, they do come equipped with that solar panel. Those help maintain your house batteries, uh, but they don't actually charge if the batteries get too low. As you step into the coach on the right hand side, you'll find the main control panel for this unit. Um, basically, it's a tablet that's connected through Bluetooth. Um, on this home screen, you see that highlighted orange house there. Uh, this is your home screen, um, and this first section here is your tank levels. So you'll see the first blue line there is for your fresh water tank, uh, showing that full. You have your gray and your black tanks. Uh, gray tank is for your sink and your shower water. As you use that, you'll see that level start to rise. The black tank is strictly for your toilet. Uh, again, you'll see that rise as you use that. Uh, good way to monitor those, uh, knowing when to empty those out. Uh, a little further over here to the right, we have your lights. Uh, so you can hit this icon here and go into the light section and turn those on and off individually. Um, or you can come over here where it says light on and light off and just directly turn all of those on and all of those off. Uh, below here, uh, you can get to the climate section. Uh, we'll go through that a little bit later. Uh, you can also turn your water pump on from here and uh, control your climate as well. Uh, next icon down here is a little drop. Uh, you can turn your water pump on from here as well. The water pump uh, will strictly be for the onboard water tank when you want to use that. If you're hooked into that city water connection, it completely bypasses that system. Tank heaters are for cold weather operation for the gray and the black tank there. Uh, they do run off the house battery, so if you guys use those, I would suggest being plugged into shore power there. And again, you have your tank levels, fresh, your gray, and your black on this screen. Uh, next icon down is for your awning for your slide outs and for your stabilizer jacks. For the slide out, uh, you just basically press and hold that extend button uh, until you hear the motor stop running. That way you know that it's fully extended. Same when you're running that back in, just make sure you listen for that motor to stop. That way you know that it's fully retracted. With your awning, uh, similar buttons there, uh, except with these, you just push the extend button and it'll roll that out and then uh, just touch the retract button and that'll run that guy back in. Uh, below there are your stabilizer jacks. I would recommend having a spotter for these. Um, you want to make sure they hit the ground and stop. You don't want to put any weight on there. They're just going to keep the RV from rocking back and forth on you. Uh, simply hit lower and raise for those. Next icon down is where we get into your temperature. Uh, so to engage that, you just hit that button there. Uh, you can adjust the temperature from the arrows below. Uh, to, to change the mode, if you want air conditioning or furnace, that would be in the mode section. So cool is going to be your AC. Uh, you can set the temperature and it'll come on when it hits that temperature and turn off. Uh, that similar to the AC in your house. If you just want it on the full time, it'll just hit cool auto. If you just want the fan in the AC to run and not be cooling, you can hit the fan. And then the heat is for the furnace. And then right below there is your fan setting, so you can either have it on high or low. Uh, next icon there is your lights. Uh, again, you can go through here and individually, individually turn those on and off. Any of the ones with the slider are on a dimmer, so you can dim those lights as well. Um, next icon is a little Wi-Fi signal for your tire pressure and things like that. Um, that'll be all set up before you get here. Next one looks like a little lightning bolt. Uh, from here, uh, you can monitor your, your battery and your propane. So you have your coach battery. Uh, which is separate from your chassis battery in the engine there, but it shows you the voltage on both of those. And then you also have your propane level there. So as you use the propane, that'll slowly start to, to go down, and then you'll know when it's time to refill that. Uh, it does have an auto generator start, uh, so if you wanted to set the generator to come on at a certain time or at a certain voltage, you could hop in there and, and set all those things there. 
Um, to start the generator manually, um, you're just gonna hit this start button here. We'll hold it until it reads starting and then we'll let go of it. Uh, what it's doing is it's priming the generator there. Once it's all primed, it'll fire on. Um, once it starts up, uh, right below here is the hour meter. So as you use the generator, it'll start ticking up the hours for you, similar to an odometer. Uh, there you can keep track of, of your generator hours. Uh, and then lastly down here is you have a couple of vent fans in the ceiling, one in the kitchen and then one in the bathroom. There is a switch on the fan itself in the ceiling, so just make sure that's in the on position to turn those on. The cab area is, is very similar to what you'll see in your personal vehicle. To the left of the driver, you'll find the mirror adjustment. Um, you'll just turn that black knob to either the left uh, driver's side or the right passenger side mirror, and then it works like a little joystick uh, to adjust those. The bottom mirror is actually manual, so you just have to roll your window down and adjust those manually. It is also equipped with an emergency start. So if you left the keys in the ignition or the door open and ran your chassis battery down, you could actually use the house batteries to fire on the engine. Just push and hold that emergency start button on for a few seconds and then turn the key and that will start your engine. Uh, to the right is your stereo, um, pretty similar to what you would see in your vehicle. Uh, also comes with USB and 12 volt chargers. The cab seats will have five manual adjustments. Back here, you'll see a little knob that will adjust the angle of the seat back. Uh, this handle here actually raises the seat. Uh, this knob will adjust the angle of the seat. Uh, to slide the seat forward and backward, you just lift up on this bar here to adjust that. And they also swivel. So the yellow handle here, you just pull it toward you and then spin it around. In the middle, uh, above the driver and the passenger head, you'll find this switch. This is for the shade for the skylight above here. Uh, this is electric, so you don't want to pull down on that shade, uh, but the down rolls the uh, uh, shade down and then up rolls that guy back up. For privacy, uh, you'll have this curtain here. Uh, on the top, you'll see this white Velcro. They will attach to these black Velcro spots all the way around the cab uh, to block that off and give you a little bit more privacy. Your dinette uh, is a four person dinette with seat belts, uh, one in the middle on either side there. Uh, this does convert into a bed as well. There is just this latch up underneath here. So you'll want to release that. Uh, slide these cushions up out of the way. And then you'll want to push kind of from the back here on the table until it sets on those ledges on either side. And then we'll kind of complete the bed by putting those cushions in place just like that. Lights. Throughout the coach, you'll have different types of lights. Uh, some of them will have this push button uh, style lights. Uh, any of the black light switches that you see that are not labeled will also be for uh, accent lighting and that sort of thing. In the main bedroom area, you have this Murphy style bed. So once you do push that slide out, uh, you'll have this elastic piece on this side that you'll just want to release. And then that bed drops down. Queen size bed there. Uh, just remember that before you run the slide back in, you'll want to make sure that that's folded back up and that elastic is in place. To the left of the bed here, we have a couple USB charging ports, uh, a couple 110 plugs there. Uh, your closet here, is equipped with a couple of lines, uh, rods that you can hang your clothes on. Just be sure that those are pushed all the way in. Um, sometimes they can get hung up and you won't be able to open your closet door there. So just make sure those are all the way in before you run those out. Stepping over to the kitchen area, we have your refrigerator freezer combo here. Uh, we recommend just keeping that guy in auto. Uh, to switch that, you just hit that mode button until auto is illuminated. On auto, what that does is while you're driving, uh, that'll run off the propane. If you kick on your generator, it'll automatically switch over to that power source, preserving your propane as well as if you plug in. And then once you disconnect it, it'll automatically switch over to propane, uh, making sure the refrigerator is cold the entire time. Above the refrigerator here, we have your DVD player. I got your TV remotes and DVD remote inside there. This DVD player is connected to both TVs with this splitter. Uh, so as long as it's on the right source, you'll be able to watch a movie on either one of those. To the left of the fridge, we have a couple of gas burners. To light those, you're just gonna turn the knob into the light position. You'll push that spark button until those light, and then you can adjust the temperature, either high or low there. 
Um, this is not a cooktop, uh, so just make sure that that glass is lifted up and out of the way when you're using that. Below you have a convection microwave, uh, so you can do baking uh, like in your oven or just use it like a normal microwave. For the air conditioner, uh, when that is turned on, you have two options for the airflow. So there are a couple of vents in the AC unit itself. If those are open, the air will be blowing out of those vents. If you close those, it'll actually blow out of the vents that are spread throughout the coach here. In the bathroom area, you'll have a separate shower, sink, and toilet. The, the shower and the sink work similar to your home. Um, the, the toilet is a pedestal type with the pedal down below. Uh, just push on that to release some water into the tank and then as you push it further down, the valve will open up to evacuate all of that stuff. Uh, over on the right hand side, we'll find our water heater. This is a tankless water heater, so it should take only about 30 seconds or so for that to get warm. You'll just push that red power button until the panel up top illuminates and then you can adjust the temperature up or down. Your 110 outlets will run off of a GFCI protected system. If for whatever reason any of those are tripped, the reset is in the bathroom to the left of the sink. Just push that middle reset button and all your outlets should work. That concludes the walkthrough on the Thor Compass. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you soon.